Hey everybody, let's talk about scene number two. This one is called Dust. You can see that we have a really nice motion graphic scene and right now it almost looks like a kind of a bokeh effect. We got this great fog here. Now, uh, fog in Octane does take a little bit longer to render. So just for this tutorial, I'm gonna turn off the fog, which is easy to do right here. You can also play with the color of the fog if you want to and the density. So if we wanted to make it a little bit less dense, we could also do that. And that's gonna introduce these particles a little bit more, but let's just turn fog off for now. Now, one great thing that we have is this setting for the viewport. Right now it's off. If we turn this on, we can visualize all these pieces right here. Um, but if this bogs down, you can turn them off in your viewport as well. All right, so let me just zoom out here and show you what's going on. So if we go out of this camera, you can see that we have a light on top and a light on bottom. And you can see on the top part of this Expressor rig, we have top and bottom. So we can play around with the different colors here. So if we play around with this color, make that a yellow, you can see that the top part is now yellow and the bottom part is blue. Let's actually turn down these uh, dust particles a little bit just so things are faster. And we can play around with the scale of the lights so we can make them smaller or bigger. And then we can also make them closer to our text or we can make them farther away with the distance. And uh, under the lights movement, we can also rotate them. So we can rotate them on any axis we want and really dial in what look we're going for here. But let's go ahead and undo all that and let's talk about the dust system. So I've already showed you the count. We can play around with um, how many pieces of dust we have here. And we also have scale. If we make it larger, kind of the clump of dust is gonna get bigger so it'll be more spread out. If we go smaller, it's gonna get tighter and narrower and we're gonna get a lot more congestion of those little pieces of dust. You can get some really great effects. You can almost get some confetti type effects if you want to. If you want all these animating, you can play around with the floating amount. And if you just uh, animate this, you can see they're kind of drifting around. And we even have an explosion setting. So let me pause the render here. If we check on explosion and hit play, all these pieces are kind of exploding out and then they're just gonna kind of fade out. So that's what explosion does. All right, we can also play with the particle scale of the actual individual pieces if we wanna do that and you can play around with the material. One last thing I'm gonna mention is that focus. If we go to the top view, uh, we actually have a focus null right here. And right now it's right in front of the text. But let's say that you wanted to focus in on, let's say a little piece of confetti in the front here. And this little null is just gonna be a good visual indicator. It has a little triangle on it. If we play with the, uh, the focus point, you can see that now the uh, triangle is over here. And if we hit render, the text is gonna be out of focus, but the uh, little particles in the front are gonna be in focus. So that little triangle is just gonna give you a nice little indication of where your focus point is. So you can really hone in on those little dust particles. Maybe do kind of a rack focus effect. So this looks pretty terrible with these colors, but if we put it back to the way it was, it's gonna look pretty nice. And if we change our focus back to zero, it'll focus in on that text and we can turn that fog on as well. So this is a really fun rig to add a lot of floating pieces to your scene and get some really nice depth of field and that bokeh effect.